We love plants. They transform our space, give us something to nurture, and make us happy. And we love Cal and Coey. Wow, we! These guys are compact and tough with breathtaking blooms. Let's get introduced. I love when a plant gives you the best of two worlds, and Kalanchoe blasfeldiana is a great example. It's a succulent, so it's super hardy and drought tolerant, but it sports year-round flowers that are so gorgeous you'd expect it to be a greenhouse specimen. These blossoms are so pretty and come in a wide variety of colors. I love this two-toned one here. The flowers form little clusters like this. I like to imagine them as teeny tiny bouquets. It's only when you get up close that you see these thick succulent leaves, which help the plant retain moisture. So I have a nice pot here with a drainage hole and a well-drained soil. A mix of cactus mix and regular potting soil works great. As with all succulents, you'll want to let the soil completely dry out before repotting. Now we can get it out of its nursery pot like so. I'll knock some loose dirt away, but overall, I'm not going to work these delicate roots too much. Looks like it'll be a good fit. Let's fill in around the sides here with our potting mix. You can press the soil in with a finger or chopstick to make sure it hits every spot of the root ball. Be patient and gentle with this process to make sure you don't damage the roots. Very, very nice. You can always check the soil with your finger to see if it needs water. Obviously this is dry, since we just repotted. So make sure to water thoroughly, enough so that the water makes its way out of the drainage hole. This way you can be sure that the roots all the way at the bottom of your planter got water, which is important for your plant's overall health. These are super drought tolerant plants and will forgive you for being forgetful. You only need to water when the soil fully dries out. Kalanchoes aren't super picky about temperature or humidity, although they won't enjoy serious chills. Bright, indirect sunlight will bring the most out of the blooms, but don't let them scorch in full sun. Kalanchoe was one of the first plants ever sent into space. They're highly toxic to humans and animals if ingested. You'll have to keep them away from little ones. Well, that's all I've got. You'll get so much out of this lovely, tough plant. 